School of Pokemon here. Today's video, I'm going to be giving you the monthly breakdown of my eBay sales for October 2021. Uh, as some of you probably are already aware, I skipped the month of September. I actually had a decent amount of people reach out to me in October and getting into November, wondering where these monthly breakdown videos were. So that was kind of cool. Glad you guys are enjoying these videos, but uh, September was just a crazy month for me. Really didn't have too, too much time for YouTube, but we're getting back into it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just skip over September since it's so, so long ago at this point. We're already into November. Uh, so we're gonna, I'm going to pick this series up with the October breakdown, and we're going to continue it going forward from here. But I'm um, going to skip September. September really wasn't a very good month anyway. Um, sales were really, really slow in September. October, they picked up a little bit, but again, they were pretty slow. Um, getting into November, as I'm recording this video, today is Friday, November 12th. But uh, so far through November, sales have definitely picked up from September and October, which is good. Hopefully it'll continue that way, getting into the kind of Christmas holiday shopping season. But um, yeah, so we'll go ahead and hop right into this video. Um, what you're looking at right here is the homepage to my eBay store. If you guys aren't already aware, eBay recently kind of revamped the look of uh, eBay stores, and I really, really like the new look. So as you can see, um, total items listed on eBay. Uh, as I'm recording this video, I have 3,366 active eBay listings on eBay right now. Um, it was quite the hurdle to get over 3,000 active eBay listings, but now I'm well into the 3,000s. Hopefully going to get into the 4,000s at some point in the semi-near future. Uh, I have a ton of stuff that still needs to get listed, as always, but uh, still, still chipping away at that. But um, so yeah, this is kind of how the new layout looks. They allow you to select kind of different categories of stuff that you want to kind of showcase. So my first one that I selected was featured items. Uh, just some of the higher end cards that I have, some of the cards that I personally like. So I chose um, Light, Light Dragonite from Neo Destiny Japanese. Just love the artwork on that card. First edition base set hollows. Um, I just think that they're good value right now. So I highlighted those two right there. Uh, we've got some theme decks as most of you probably know I love theme decks, so I had to highlight those two right there. And then another really cool artwork, um, Sabrina's Gengar from the Japanese Gym series. Really like the artwork on that card, so I decided to highlight that one as well. Um, you can only highlight six items, so those were the six items that I chose, and I'll probably change those around every, every month or so, uh, highlight different items for my featured items section. Next up, uh, they had a best sellers um, kind of option and I chose that one to highlight some of the items that sell really really well for me. Uh, these are items that I have a decent bit of quantity of or at least the the square cut jungle uncommon cards, the acrylic cases, and the team rocket storage boxes. I have a lot of each of those. Um, the the Kanto gym badge set. Um, really don't have too too many of those, but I do have a few of them available still. Um, but yeah, these are these are items that sell really really well for me. Uh, so I decided to highlight those in the in the best seller section right here. And then we have the just in section items that were kind of newly listed. Um, decided to include the figures that I have just because I have a ton of quantity of the both of those figures So decided to promote those a little bit more and then same thing with these booster packs right here We got the detective Pikachu packs, which have been selling really really well uh, for me already So that is good and then we have the general Mills packs which I've sold a few of these haven't sold too too many of them I might lower the price down to $7.49 a piece. I'm already the lowest price at $9.99 a piece but I might lower the price down a little bit more just to kind of generate those first few initial sales and then raise it back up to $9.99. Um, the eBay algorithm works better when you when you have a um, when you start selling items. So once you start selling items, it's kind of like a snowball effect where you start to sell more and more and more. Um, so yeah, I might might lower the price of that. Haven't haven't decided just yet on that one. But um, so that's what I decided to select. And then uh, once you get past all of these kind of featured items, that's when you get into the all the items that you have listed on eBay. So scroll down through there, and then if you click see all, that's when you kind of get brought back to the the older view of the uh, eBay store. So that's kind of the view that I was I was used to for the longest time. You've got all the categories on the left hand side, and then all the items, uh, just kind of your typical view right there. 
But really cool changes. I was really, really happy about that. Um, eBay, eBay did a good job with that. I was, I was pleasantly surprised by how, how well that turned out. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and hop into the actual sales for October 2021. If you guys have been watching these videos for a while, I used to start out by going into the kind of my orders page of my eBay and talking about the quantity of items that I sold as well as the um, the average price point per, per sale. Uh, I'm not going to be doing that anymore just because with the consignments that I've started doing, um, the total sales have kind of skewed a bit. Uh, so for example, in October, I had a few high-end sale or a few high-end consignments. So my total sales in October are really, really high, yet the total sales that I actually did in October are pretty low. But we'll go ahead and talk about that um, in this page right here. So as you can see, um, I have this set up for last month, October 1st through October 31st, 2021. Um, total sales in October, $61,370.96. Now keep in mind, I did have a few high-end consignments in, in October. Um, quantity sold, the total number of uh, items that I sold throughout the month of October, 1,818 unique items sold throughout the month of October. A little bit less than my typical average. Um, I typically average closer to 2,000 items per month, but um, roughly roughly about the same. Uh, average sale price per item. Now this number is going to be really, really skewed because like I said, I had a few higher end consignments. $33.76, uh, really, really high, up 190% versus my um, September. Um, month. So that number really isn't that accurate in terms of the items that I'm actually selling versus those that I'm consigning and selling combined. Now here's where we get into the kind of the breakdown of what was consignments versus what was my own listings. Um, sales via auction throughout the month of October. These are all going to be consignment listings. I didn't run any of my own auctions throughout the month of October. So throughout the month of October, $43,599.71 in consignment listings. Now getting into the fixed price listings, these are all going to be my own listings. So $17,771.25. As you can see, um, in terms of my own sales throughout the month of October, really pretty slow. Uh, that's a fairly low number in terms of what I typically average. Um, September was even worse than that. Uh, October, like I said, a little bit better. Um, November, we're off to a better start. So hopefully, hopefully we're through that kind of uh, really, really slow period. But, um, but yeah, so those were the fixed price and, or uh, my own sales and then kind of the consignment sales that I had. Now getting into the actual monthly breakdown for the month of October. Like we just said, total eBay sales for the month of October, $61,370.96. Total PayPal sales, sales that were directly through PayPal, $189. Total Troll and Toad sales, uh, big fat zero, just because I didn't request a payout from Troll and Toad throughout the month of October. Total Whatnot sales, again, a big fat zero. I have been really slacking with Whatnot. Um, I did a live stream back in mid-September, but I haven't done one since. I'm actually planning to do one this Saturday, so tomorrow. Uh, like I said, I'm recording this video Friday, November 12th. Tomorrow, Saturday, November 13th, around 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm actually going to be doing another WhatNot live stream. So if you guys are watching this video today, Friday, or tomorrow, Saturday, uh, feel free to hop on to the live stream, check it out, uh, maybe purchase something if you are interested. But uh, yeah, should be a good time. I'm looking forward to that, getting back into that. Total EPN payments, eBay Partner Network. This is the affiliate links that I have on YouTube and Instagram. So basically, whenever you guys click the link to my eBay store on YouTube or Instagram, it's an affiliate link. So it kind of, it, it links my, my account, uh, my eBay Partner Network account with whatever you purchase in a like a 24 hour period. And anything that you purchase on eBay within that 24 hour period or so, uh, I get a small commission of that sale. So throughout the month of October, I made $557.91 through the affiliate link program. Uh, this is a lot higher than average. I typically average between $200 and $300 per month. Um, 
However, this month I made $557.91 through that um, affiliate link program. Total AdSense payment, uh, this is the basically how much I make on YouTube, the YouTube ads that you guys watch, $167.16 in ad revenue. Um, this is, I don't get paid out every month for my AdSense payment. Um, it's usually every two or three months. When I first monetized my channel, when I was first able to monetize my channel back in February or March, I believe, uh, I was making around 25 cents a day. I've slowly increased that number as my subscriber count has increased, and right now I'm doing probably between a dollar and a dollar twenty-five per day in ad revenue. Um, Google AdSense, who kind of um, runs the payouts for the YouTube ad revenue, they require you to have a hundred dollars in your account before they issue you a payout. So right now I'm getting paid out every two or three months on average. But anyway, if you add all of these together, total income for the month of October, $62,285.03. Next up, we've got to subtract some of the essential expenses. So we're going to start off with the eBay fees and eBay shipping, $6,877.68. Sales tax that eBay collects $3,129.36. PayPal fees for sales that were directed through PayPal, $7.42. And Disha postage, uh, this is the postage program that I use for sales directed through PayPal or international orders, $93.65. And Disha insurance, I didn't place any of insurance on those packages, so that is a zero. Stamp postage, this is any time that I have to purchase something from the post office or mail something via FedEx, UPS. I didn't have to do any of that this month, so that is another zero. Postage scale fee, I pay $15.95 per month for my Indicia postage program. PayPal refunds, this was a disappointment right here. $546.74. Basically what happened was I sold a bunch of CGC graded cards to someone in New Zealand. He purchased those cards uh, the, towards, the end of, towards the end of September. And I mailed all the cards out, and then a few days after I mailed those cards out, USPS announced that they were shutting down first class mail and priority mail to New Zealand. So by the time I shipped the cards out and they announced that the cards were in California, uh, so they hadn't left the United States, so instead of continuing their journey to New Zealand, they actually got returned to me. Um, so I had to refund the buyer for, for those cards. Um, but yeah, so that's what that is right there. If you add all those together, you come out with a total of $10,670.80 for expenses throughout the month of October. Now getting into some of the funner stuff, um, all of the stuff that I've purchased uh, throughout the month of October. As always, starting off with the Patreon membership, I'm subscribed to Rusty over at TCA Gaming and then SM Pratt as well, $35 per month for the two of them. Pallet Town, Instagram ads for consignments. So. One of the perks that I have for consigning through me is that every auction block, I highlight three specific cards within that auction block, and Pallet Town uh, TCG on Instagram uh, creates a post for those for those three cards. So every auction block, there's three different posts by me. Um, I don't don't charge the people who can sign through me for that post. I cover that cost myself. Uh, so throughout the month of October, I paid forty dollars for Instagram ads through Pallet Town and TCG on Instagram. Consignment payout. Um, this is going to be so these two columns are rows, whatever you want to call them. Um, these two rows are going to be new additions every month um, for consignments. So we've got the ads, which I just talked about. Consignment payouts now. This is where these spreadsheets kind of get a little bit confusing if you're looking at them from a month by month basis. We just talked that I did about $45,000 in consignments for the month of October, yet I only paid out $22,872.72. So I only paid, about, paid out about half the amount in October. And this is because um, the eBay, um, eBay managed payment takes a few days that money takes, after the buyer pays, that money takes a few days to enter my bank account. And then in addition to that, I run my auction Sunday to Sunday. So my last auction block, which, is a, which was a fairly big one, uh, ended October 31st, which was the last Sunday of the month, obviously the last day of the month as well. So all of that money from those sales um, 
didn't go into my account until a few days later, or maybe a week later, depending upon when the, the buyers actually paid for those items. So um, a few days later, a uh, week later, that's getting into November. So a lot of the a lot of the payouts for the consignments towards the end of October, I actually paid out the beginning of November. Um, the only payouts I did in October were these ones right here, $22,872.72. Uh, the remainder, like I said, were the beginning of November. So that's where that's where these figures are. These videos are kind of going to get a little bit confusing. Um, hopefully, it's not too too bad. But um, believe it or not, we're towards the end of 2021, and you guys will be able to get a better better view of my at the the actual amount of money that I make per year. Um, after we get through 2021, I'll kind of do like a year in review video, and that'll give you that'll give you a better complete picture. Um, next up, though, we have a few distributor purchases. Um, th these are mainly going to be Celebrations product, as well as the Requaza and Neuvern um, battle boxes and theme decks, and then a few other miscellaneous items, the first partner packs. Um, but anyway, uh, $2,040.44, $1,323.56, $1,924.50. Now, um, so those were all the modern product uh, purchases that I um, had purchased, mainly celebrations and then a few other odds and ends as well. Now, getting into this next section here, uh, this is kind of the end of the Vegas trip. Um, the majority of those costs were in September. I did have a few additional costs in October. So flight add-ons, this was baggage fees or something something along those lines. Uh, transportation to and from the airport, actually. That's what, that's what that was. Um, so getting to and from the airport and then parking um, where I where I parked my car, $72 for all of that uh, right there. And then uh, the Vegas box break or the pack break that we did, uh, as most of you probably already know, uh, Catch'em All Collectibles, Dan and myself went in on two pack lots together. Uh, we paid $10,000 per lot. So we each bought, we each bought one. Um, I actually paid Dan in two parts. I gave him $5,000 in September, and then I gave him another $5,000 at the actual event. Um, so I kind of split that up in between the two months right there. So $5,000 was recorded in September, and then $5,000 is recorded in October, which you're seeing right here. Um, but that's the end of the Vegas expenses. That was a Awesome, awesome trip. Really enjoyed that, but that was a very, very expensive trip as well. Um, anyway, though, getting into the next item. I actually recently, or semi-recently, uh, probably a few weeks ago at this point, um, received a CGC submission back, which was really, really cool. Uh, $2,290.80 for that. It's a 280 or 300 card submission, which I'll be showing you guys in um, a video coming up next week. I'll be sure to show you all those cards. Um, but yeah, super happy to have some more graded cards. I've been running really, really low, but we'll talk about that in, in that video. Uh, a few miscellaneous purchases. Amazon purchase number one, $39.99. This is, I I couldn't even tell you what this one was. Um, something that I bought off of Amazon for the business. Container store purchase, $84.98. For those of you who have a container store around you, uh, I absolutely love those stores. Um, but yeah, I can I could spend so much money in those stores just buying different types of containers for everything. But um, this was a I actually purchased little um, like little bins for all the coins that I'm going to be selling. It's a, it's a little rack, and uh, there's a bunch of different bins that slide out. Um, so I'm basically putting all the coins in there, numbering all the individual bins, and then putting that number within my within my eBay listing to make it easier to kind of find and pull that um, those purchases right there. So I bought those for $84.98 at the container store. Target purchase number one, this is going to be ink and paper for the printer, uh, $82.83 right there. Getting into some of the better purchases for the month. Check purchase number one, this was the stuff that you guys saw in the video previous to this one. All the, that kind of bulk purchase that I did with all of the mini albums, the coins, the figures, the Pokemon League materials, uh, the General Mills packs and, and all of that stuff. $5,743.50 for that purchase right there. eBay purchase number one, this is going to be card supplies and packaging supplies, $294.88. 
eBay purchase number two and number three are both going to be the Detective Pikachu two card booster packs. Uh, I originally purchased one for $5.99.99 plus shipping, so in total $6.24.30. And then I reached out to the seller, asked if they had any more, and uh, I ended up buying another four cases for $500 a piece plus shipping, so in total $2,039.30 for all of those. Um, PayPal purchase number one, $625. This was the modern purchase that I made um, and that I showed you within within a video that I did semi-recently. Um, it's the, the purchase that had the, it's got a secret rare Charizard from Champion's Path, a hyper rare Charizard, um, Pikachu VMAX from Vivid Voltage, the the gold um, um, Snorlax from Vivid Voltage, I believe, and then the uh, Alt Art Tyranitar from Battle Styles, and then a bunch of just uh, modern bulkier type hit cards. Uh, so $625 for that. PayPal purchase number two, $2,850. This was the Wizards of the Coast collection that I showed within that same video as the uh, the modern cards. Um, this one, this this collection had a lot of cards that I was going to set aside for grading, if you remember, if you remember that video. But in total, uh, for the month of October, I spent our the my total purchases slash consignment items, uh, $47,983.80. Now, to get the total profit of uh, for October, um, we take this 62,000, subtract this 10,000, subtract this 47,000, and you're left with a total profit for the month of October, $3,630.43. Overall, uh, October, like I said, um, was a pretty slow month. A little bit better than September, but um, still, still a pretty slow month. I was pretty happy with how I did, considering how how slow of a month it was. Plus, combine that with the fact that um, how much I actually spent in October between all of these uh, modern product, just um, modern products from distributors, uh, the Vegas break that was an expensive trip, like I said, CDC returns, and then all of these other resale purchases that I made throughout the month of October. Um, so. Really, eh, pretty, pretty, pretty low figure there, but um, I was I was all right with that considering all of those factors. Like I like I just said, hopefully November will be a little bit more. Um, will will be a little bit better. Like I said, it's starting off starting off good. Hopefully, hopefully it continues like that going into the kind of the second half of November and then getting into December as well. But we shall see on that. Anyway, I'm going to end this video here before I continue rambling on anymore. Thank you guys very much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.